Hi, welcome back. All right, continuing on in our, our jury duty uh, ser series, I wanna tell you today about how the courtroom is gonna be set up. Some people come in for jury duty and they just go into a giant classroom or a big auditorium, and others will go directly to the courtroom where the trial will be held. So if you're in a big room, you're probably there because that particular court has multiple jury trials getting ready to start, and they bring everybody in so that they can then sort through those people and then assign you to the different courtrooms. Um, alternatively, there could be a huge group if there's a big notorious case that's been in the news a lot and they want to make sure they have enough people that they can find fair and impartial jurors. But in any event, if you start out in a big classroom or big auditorium, you eventually will be moving into a courtroom uh, that will look similar to ones on TV. Some are more modern, some are very old. Uh, but it'll have some of the same attributes as the TV sets that you see. There will be a jury box, a place, a designated place for the jury to sit. That is so that you're identified as the jury, um, you're all together so that we don't have to look around the room and pick out 10 people to talk to, you're all together. You uh, have the same vantage point of the witnesses and the attorneys and the judge um, and the exhibits. If there's TV or screens or any audiovisual. Uh, the idea is that you all have the same uh, viewpoint, you have the same vantage point. Um, then there will be the judge, which is the big, you know, the, where the bench is. The judge is sitting there elevated so that they can kind of see, because one of the rules of the duties of the judge is to be kind of the traffic cop of the trial and make sure things go the way they're supposed to go. So the judge is going to be up there, um, elevated. Next to the judge, maybe you're the person that's in charge of your jury, because that may be the bailiff or a judge's assistant or jury coordinator. But then there also may be a law clerk, a judge's assistant, um, and they have may have uh, computer screens dealing with emails, dealing with requests for the judge, that the judge can take up other matters during breaks, or to look up things, or have documents readily available for the court, or answer any questions. So they're there as assistants for the judge. Um, then on the other side, one or the other sides, there's going to be a place for the witnesses to sit, and nearby, either between the next to the judge or on the other side will be the court reporter and they are taking down everything that happens in the trial. Then the counsel uh, attorneys for the different sides will be sitting with their client either if it's a person or a representative of a company um, at tables either one giant table or separate tables depending upon the uh, number of parties and how much room there is in the courtroom. And um, if there are individual people who are parties in the case, they can sit there with their attorneys. The attorney may also then have a secretary, paralegal. There may be more than one attorney. Um, they're for, there for a variety of reasons to help get the witnesses moved in and out quickly and promptly so you're not sitting there wasting time, uh, twiddling your thumbs, wondering what's gonna happen next so that the action keeps moving. Also to arrange for witnesses uh, to be escorted into the courtroom because a lot of times, most times, they're kept out of the courtroom until it's time for them to testify. Then they can sit back in the courtroom and watch. Um, and so it's just a variety of reasons. So there's office help, there's the actual attorney trying the case. Sometimes more than one attorney may, uh, may help in the case and there are rules on that. So that's who's all sitting there. Then there's this big divider, which we, you know, when you say attorneys pass the bar, this is the bar they're talking about. So everything in front of that is the actual workings of the court and the trial and all the official people. Behind that is going to be spectators. Uh, trials are open to the public in the United States unless there's a particular order closing it. Um, if allowed in that jurisdiction, there could be TV cameras or reporters. Uh, your relatives could be there, your friends who gave you a ride if you've got a short uh, court time and they're giving you a ride and they wanna hang out and watch, they're welcome to do that. Um, so there could be a variety of people, there could be school children in there, or there could be no one. Um, you know, it, just it just depends. So those are, that tells you the layout of uh, what will happen. Then there will be a separate jury room for you to go to in the morning, over lunch, and afterwards. And um, ask your coordinator about the safety and security in that room before you bring laptops or, or tablets or things with you to court because you won't be able to bring all that up onto the bench with you. It'll be stay in that room and you want to make sure that it's secure so you can make the decision on what you want to bring with you. Um, I think I mentioned in another video, bring a book to read. You know, there is going to be some downtime. If you're knitting, bring some, you know, bring that, bring magazines, whatever you like. 
Um, but it's just as far as security, you might just decide, make a decision on what you wish to bring with you. So I hope with that orientation, it kind of gives you an idea of who everybody is. And then now it gets into the fun part when we start talking about what to look for in the trial and how to watch the trial. So stay tuned. If this video was helpful to you, please feel free to leave a comment. If something happens in your ju jury service or you have a question about something else that was in the courtroom that you're not sure, go ahead and ask me and I'd be happy to to answer it in another video um, or just as a comment and uh, feel free to like uh, subscribe and share if you want to know about the next videos coming out just go ahead and you can follow us on Facebook or on Twitter I'll see you next time thanks